Oh, hey, Don here. Well, I didn't know I was live. I thought I was counting down until when I went live. I'm testing out this, uh, trying to get to my other computer here on my KVM switch. I'm testing out this little app. I guess you can, you can't, uh, I don't have a preview, so I don't know what I'm looking at. But it's not very good, really. It kind of makes it hard to use. Um, computer over here went to sleep. Uh, oh, oh, here it is. Okay, so um, I'm going to turn the phone. Well, I don't know if that works. Here we go. That worked. I'm using I'm just going to leave it plugged in. I'm using a uh, you can probably see it down there. USB cable going over to the laptop. Uh, to this application instant live streaming and this is their page I'm just guessing at my aiming because there's no preview but let's see now it says I'm offline I went to my Google page it says I'm offline so I don't know what the deal is it says I'm streaming over here but I'm not showing to be online over here on my Google Live. I've done Google, uh, Google, YouTube Live. That's supposed to be streaming to YouTube Live. At least I thought it was. Uh, some of the menus weren't responsive. Okay. Well, it says Don Bishop is streaming now. I reloaded the page. It didn't auto reload. But it's not showing what's going on. Well, yeah, it is. Oh, this is a wide shot. Okay, um, and it did turn, when I started out I had the camera up and down, and uh, it, uh, then I realized, oh well that's not how my normal camera works, you know, my open camera app, or, or the built in camera, this is an Alcatel A845L phone. Not a you know high end phone. <laughs> this is a fourteen dollar and eighty eight cent phone right now. It's like a hundred and fifty brand new, but uh, Walmart's been selling them for that, and that's why I've got three of them. There's two down there, and uh, one for me, one for, two for me, one for mom. So the, here's the app screen, and uh, yeah, it's counting up up minutes. So evidently I'm streaming. So. Um, I guess on my YouTube page, I don't know. Normally, when I'm streaming, it will I will see it. Hit stop and hit start again. I can see that the audio is muted, but that's good. I don't want it uh, echo and giving me trouble. And actually, my well, yeah, when I'm streaming on a computer, I can't really open up my YouTube pa uh, page at the same time because the computers just can't handle all that work. But I'm streaming from a phone and uh, I'm using I, I didn't explain I'm using I'm streaming from my phone and so I'm over here on the laptop uh, that I'm hooked up to that's just so I can uh, control the phone see what's going on in it be able to read the text and uh, keep moving my mouse thinking it's going to do something when I don't have my mouse oh, I don't have my KVN switched over there this app is called My Phone Explorer that I found, and it's a good app. I like it's the best one. Uh, it works the best. It, you get a little bit of lag when you do stuff, but uh, and you can use your mouse or your, I'm using my touchpad on the laptop now. It says it has effects. Hard to click. Oh, now I can see them on my phone. Okay, there's a bunch of effects coming up. Sketch night. I'm use my touchpad here on the phone and move through them. I'm just guessing in my aim here. That that's very I don't know if I didn't set something right or what, but that makes it really tough. So there's some kind of funny effect. Of course you can get an effect. Oh now I get a preview in my phone. Of course you're gonna get um and I can see where I'm aiming, that's a lot better. Um you get video feedback when you're shooting at your 
at your video output of any kind of camera on, a, on the monitor. I don't care if it's analog, computer, USB, whatever, webcam. But uh, it's supposed to be making, yeah, okay, now I can see the effects. It made it look like a newspaper. Made it all out of shape. Just a bunch and bunch of silly stuff. Oh, same old, silly, fun, fun, but silly stuff. Night. I can't read the screen. Mono. I don't know why they call it mono. Oh, because it has no color. Mono to me is being an. Whoops. Got out of there by accident. Mono to me is mono audio. You know, as an. Mono or stereo, if I can get back in there. Okay, rich. Oh, that might actually be helpful. Whoops. Every time I touch on the screen to try to slide it, it comes out of the effects mode. I'm, I'm tethered to this USB cable, and it's kind of fighting me. Okay, I'm on rich, I think. Whoops. <sighs> okay, so when I touch up in the screen you have to really hit your target there we go natural it's hard to tell oh, okay yeah I'm trying to make my screen fit within what I see and uh, I'm not really getting all that video feedback like I was promising it's very obvious it looks like a, a thousand mirrors it actually makes it a little brighter let's see okay so there we go but this app is um, for some reason I don't know maybe YouTube changed it's been a while since I did a YouTube live stream it's called instant uh, insta lively stream live streaming and it sounded like it had some good features and uh, I'm gonna close my um, little app over here and unplug the USB because it's really fighting me. Oh, here we go. This is an old, old Dell 1525 laptop. Uh, actually, plays videos and stuff better than the that Lenovo i5 desktop over there. Close this and. Uh, now, give it a little minute to shut down. Yeah, that's running one to seven. That that's the only thing I don't like about that. My phone explorer, I think it's called. It's a great. I like it. It works better than Team Viewer or uh, and uh, that other one for, called that. Somebody. I'm gonna unplug my USB from the camera, from the phone camera. Ooh. And we'll see if we can actually work here. And now I can put the camera where I want to. There's something else, another icon. <coughs> I don't know what it means, but I'm not going to mess with it. Because it might turn it off or something. But let me get myself situated where I can hold as still as possible. My uh, The open camera app I've been using uh, does a pretty good job of holding, uh, stabilizing your video. It has a stabilize, auto stabilizer in it. But the app here... <coughs> If you haven't ever seen it before, it sounded pretty good. Uh, there's their little screenshots on their video, on their web, on their YouTube Play Store page. So uh, you can use it for several, uh, YouTube. Uh, that's the only one I ever use. YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or stuff, and maybe others. I'm not sure. You have to go there to find out and read all the stuff. Um, I noticed that people were saying on the reviews that uh, it's funny it has 4.1 stars but then the immediate the most recent views were saying that the app kept saying their um, kept saying I'm off at an angle kept saying that their uh, connection wasn't fast enough but it is you know yes it is I have 5G and all that I'm on Wi-Fi right now and I have uh, 60 megabits but this phone will only do at the most about 35 to 39 megabits. I've noticed that, so it must not have a great Wi-Fi chip in it. Um, for 15 bucks, I'm not complaining though. 
I just bought this for a pocket computer. I'm not. I probably won't. I might turn one of them on at some point, but right now I'm just playing with them and learning about them. But uh, pretty cool. That's that's one thing I always wanted to be able to do is do a live stream uh, like this from, you know, well, it's not a real camera, but um, I don't have a real camera anymore, so. Uh, the next best thing. That's five, five, uh, five megapixels isn't much these days, but these days, and of course, there's no real no zoom or anything. But uh, better than my old webcams up there. I'll tell you that for sure. If you can see them down there, you go. Look at that. That's what I've had since I don't have, don't have a real camera anymore. And I mean, those are old. Um, and there's the tripod. I need to get some sort of way to mount this phone on that tripod. I have two little short tripods like that. And uh, then I could do, you know, much, much uh, some steadier videos. But uh, we'll see how this video turns out, you know, if it's lagging a lot or anything. Let's see, I have my my uh, volume to set to zoom in and out. But it beeps. I'm probably doing that on the video. It does on open camera. Oh, oh wrong way. Okay, so that doesn't that doesn't work in this app. I guess it only works in that app you set it in. You probably hear all that noise. That was actually just doing the volume. So um, I'm gonna try that little. Let's see. I'm gonna go back. I know I'm not really showing anything to worth looking at, but of course most of us don't, do we? Like there's a little looks sort of like it's a well it's a crooked arrow and has a zero by it. I'm going to hit it and see what happens. So I heard it click. But I see my counting up is still counting up. So I don't know what it did. Oh, there's another one up at the top right. I'm going to hit that one again. I don't think it has switched between the front and the back camera. I can't remember where the camera is on the phone. I had my... Okay, it... Oh, what did it do? Yep, it did it. Look at that. That's cool to be able to do that. So there's the selfie cam. Yeah, I look terrible. Okay, let's get out of that. It's uh, very laggy, though, wasn't it? So, um, and that is uh, only like a 2 megapixel camera. So, uh, but that is neat to be able to switch between front and back cameras while you're lot going live. Now, I just wonder how, like, that's the problem I've had with my live videos. I've tried it with this laptop. It actually has a, you know, halfway decent. Of course, it doesn't make any, can't, can't see it, can you? There's a little, there it is, the little camera built in. Of course, you've seen them. Or maybe that was a screw, one of those screws for the bezel. But anyway, that thing will do about uh, 1,200 by six, 1,600 by something. By 1,200, I think. Uh, whatever the resolution is of the screen, it will do that in its video, in, in the webcam. It's acting so it's the highest quality video that I've got right now. Uh, can't, I carried it outside one time and it was really a jumpy, jerky video. I tried to go as smooth as I could, but... Um, you know, a little phone's a lot easier to grab and use than that. And I always have to plug in a mic to it. You can't see it up there right now, but... I have a I have a, a boom stand microphone stand. I used to be uh, do audio for bands and stuff, so I have some nice some uh, I have some S Shure SM58 mics and stuff, and that's a Shure SM58, and I plug that into my. I don't have a mixer, but I have a TA cassette deck up there on top of that JVC DVD player. And I have it all going through a homemade patch bay that I didn't actually make, but my friend's dad did back in the 80s or so. And I inherited that. Dad's gone now, so sorry to say. And uh, I have some a Dynaco switch, a preamp switch, which is actually all worn out now and I don't use it anymore. But uh, and his dad built those out of kits. The Dynaco was from, it is some good stuff. Uh, I, that thing... It's not worn out, it's just I think I need to take it apart and clean the switches. 
but anyway you, I used to learn that trick back in the 70s to uh, use an, uh, you can use the, you can use the mic inputs if you have them I have my old original TX which I can't find it's all buried up under stuff in the garage uh, it has mic inputs and you can uh, I used to use it for a guitar distortion <laughs> and for plug in mics and then you can send it out to whatever you want and with this I had to use just the RCA inputs and I converted my uh, XLR low impedance you can't see any of that on my microphone there my SM58 that's hidden by the Sure uh, bag I uh, converted it with a uh, low impedance to high impedance so that it would then split it off in a Y to the uh, to the cassette deck and so I have stereo uh, you know, outputs from the cassette that go into my computers, and that's how I get my sound when I'm using a computer to record off the webcam or the laptop or whatever. But uh, so you know, it takes a. It, it's you have to do. You have to. You can't leave it hooked up all the time. You get stuff that would break if you bump into it. So. So, the phone grabbing a phone like all the rest of the world does these days, or or a real camera. I'd like to have a DSLR or something, but. Uh, Grabbing a phone and you know doing your video is pretty neat, uh, especially if you can make it go live like that. Uh, I've heard about I actually just just heard about the Facebook Live app. Uh, well, I don't use I, I don't use Face. I have it, but I have an account, but I don't get on there. So, but I do like YouTube. So I'm gonna try it this way. Um, okay, I already tried that camera switch. I was looking at it going, what's that? I already know what it is. Okay. Um, before I shut this down, I'm trying to. Ow, my finger hurts now. I'm trying to touch the effects deal without shaking the camera. Put it back on natural. That was on uh, rich. I think rich actually looks better. In this particular situation, anyway. Let's see what natural looks like on the. Now I can't find. Oh, got a touch up in there. Okay, now there's. Yeah, the coloring is was better a while ago, but I got a feeling there's this. This is going to be jerky, and half my audio is going to be cut out. Just like what I was saying. That that's my problem. You got to tweak and mess with the. Uh, even with the 60, I got 60 megabits up download and 5, uh, 4 megabits upload, and uh, and the upload's what matters, of course, when you're streaming. Uh, that's what I have on my computers uh, that I get through my computers, but uh, I still have trouble with uh, choppy, cut up videos. You know, I mean the audio will cut in and out and everything. So. Um, I was kind of hoping the phone would work, and, and it is oddly, I get like I only get. Uh, I thought I would at least get 54 megabits, like the laptops and stuff do uh, downloads, but I'm only getting at the most about 35 to 39. Uh, but I still get my full four megabits upload, so even a little more sometimes on the phone. There's an app I found that can test test your speed. Well, there I think there's one built into the. I don't remember which app I use. I don't know if it's built into the phone or came with the phone, I mean, or if I downloaded it. But I've been trying out all kinds of different apps. So, uh, this is Don, and this is the end of test one on my Alcatel A845 uh, Pop Star phone uh, that I got for $14.88. Alright, bye bye.